let's uh, let's roll down to Shreveport, Louisiana. The Independence Bowl. You know, we used to call this the Weed Whacker Bowl. There's been a lot of great Independence Bowls, man. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not a lot. of. There was one great one there that was, was the Snow Bowl. There was one great one. <laughs> Mississippi State A&M in like the 90s. I ever tell you I went down to Shreveport three different times? I've been down there three times. Well, I've been there once, but it was for work a long time. So ago. I went for Alabama, Colorado in Saban's first year. I went for Alabama, Oklahoma State in Joe Kynes' interim sad. thing. And then I went down for Dennis Franchoni's first bowl game in 2001 against Iowa State. So all three Bama wins. So it was, I uh, no, no, no. That's Oklahoma State was, was Shreveport. Not. I was just there working. At Shreveport is, uh, man, it's fun. I, I, I had a, I had a, I had a Shreveport's good a good time. Uh, so this game in, in, in uh, Shreveport, Independence Bowl, 12.30 p.m. ESPN. It's Thursday, December 27th. It's Duke and Temple. Duke seven and five, six and six against the spread. Temple eight and four, eight and four against the spread. Both of them are two and two against the spread in their last four. Uh, the opening line: Temple minus three, and the over under was fifty six and a half. That is down to fifty five, and Temple is now a four and a half point favorite. Um, every number on here suggests that Temple is significantly better, but I will give you a stat. Okay. Okay. David Cutcliffe is eight and two against the spread in bowl games. Four and one at Duke as an underdog. Six and one against the spread with four outright wins. And then Temple coach Jeff Collins is the new coach at Georgia Tech. So this line keeps going up for Temple. But I'm gonna tell you this: even though Duke got absolutely housed by Wake Forest in their last game. <laughs> Which, that, how do you lose that at what, home? That's 59 what I can't to 7. get out of my head. I right. like this Duke team most of the year. I'm a big Cutcliffe guy. Like I knew that stat. I, I'm going Duke plus four and a half. I, I can't go away from Temple just because I don't know what the hell's going on at Duke. How do they lose some of the games they've lost in just awful fashion? I wish that I knew. I have no idea. And that's my problem. Is I don't. Part of me wonders. Cutcliffe's been doing this for a long time. Is there some light at the end of the tunnel that he's just like kind of moonwalking through the motions? Because how do you get beat the way he got? How do you end the season the way he ended the season without some type of explanation? Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. Duke is minus six in turnover margin, and Temple is plus five. So that doesn't help anything. Um, no. So, you know, I mean, it, it, look, defensive rushing yards per attempt, Duke is number 116 in the country. They give up 5.16 yards per attempt. Uh, passing yards per attempt, they're number 110. Um, I don't know, man. Look, I'm they take they Temple, can't throw the look, ball. They, you know. I am going to go over the 55 because I the last couple of games I've watched Temple play, in most of the season, by the way, this isn't just like recency bias, this team could score. Yeah, I mean, that's, they're, I, they're I've got the up, over. Yeah, they're putting up. 35, 40 points every week. So you're you're going over 55. And you I got like Temple the, minus I like the over. I'm going to bet Temple. Do you like, okay, Temple minus four and a half and the over. I've got Duke plus four and a half and the over. I'm not a fan of going with the crowd with Temple moving the line one and a half points already. But At Sometimes sometimes the public's right. Yeah. I mean, you, you're not going to be able to bet against them every time. Otherwise, nobody would bet, right? So, eh, yeah, I, I think, uh, yeah, this is. You know, if nothing else, this is going to be a lot of fun to uh, to get to watch on on a Thursday, like right after Christmas, twelve thirty. Just turn the TV on; ought to be a lot of fun. 